Ooh, this is Spellbinder's report. I'm doing a uh, observation today on the uh, stereo solar t uh, observatory, and it's the 3D view of the sun and the heliosphere. And again, there's more of those unusual objects that appear to be starships, like this one here at what. Uh, 1245 universal time or 045 and up here in the corner is another one of those strange saucer shaped objects this one here has been moving around over the last uh, six hours of this morning since uh, this time on because I catch this in other parts of this image on these photos as you can see there's nothing else but it on here for right now so I shrink it back down go back go to uh, zero 55 15 minutes later and there's an object off over to the side and you know it's the 115 actually 10 minute I think these are in 10 minute intervals it's not there anymore because in 10 minutes it moved out of uh, the viewing area of the satellite. What else do I got here? Let's go to 105. Got two objects in this one. One here, one up here. This one down here. Looks like that. And if you take these and download them, if you have Photoshop, you can really blow these things up. You can change the contrast. You can make them stick out. You can actually see that they're, they look like artificial objects. They're nothing phenomenal or anything. They look like they're there. They're real metallic objects. There's this object back in here. And let's go down. Let's see, on this one here. They have, they're gone except for this one up here. And then you see this one here. Where you, this is stereo behind images. Let me just go 135. Then you got that one up there. You can almost see that it goes around like that. And there's nothing else. These objects seem to float in and out like they're coming and going or whatnot into and out of our solar system. Let me jump up to 205. Again, that object that was over on the other side is now over here. It's moved that far since about, oh, about an hour. Go 255. It's moved there. There's this one down here now. And if you look at this, it does look like it's something. It looks like triangular, like a Kind of remind me of a bit holder on a drill. What it kind of reminds me of. It's the three prong thing that holds the bit in. But you can see it's got more to it. And I've taken some of these images and contrast them and was able to see more. I mean, there, there actually there's more to it than just this little area right here. This thing actually does extend out around this area. Let's see, we go all the way down to about 1705 universal time. And you see there's nothing in that one, but watch as I back up a few frames. Then there's this one right here. Not really sure what these things are. If they're other satellites, they must be military, because uh, I have no heard nothing except the two ahead and back satellites in that particular orbit and there's no other satellites supposedly in their near their orbit or further out from their orbit so this is uh, pretty bizarre and they can seem to move pretty quickly because in 10 minutes they move out of the frame the size of them unknown they could be just closer to the video or to the uh, video to the uh, satellite image and that's why they look like they're huge off to the side of the sun, but they're not really huge. They're probably closer to the satellite. There's this one again. This is a totally different time than what I showed you before, and it's back there again. Came back.
All right. Well, there you see here. I'm gonna do something here. Okay, I've went into my uh, Photoshop Element Seven, and I'm gonna show you this object right here. In this one picture, I'm gonna show you what you can do if you have uh, Element Seven or just Photoshop. You can bring this image up. I'm up to 200x. I'm going to enhance. I'm going to do just uh, adjust lighting. It's basically really all you really need to do to bring this thing out. I'm going to turn the contrast up first. There's a the contrast, and as you can see, it seems to be a little bigger. And that's what it looks like when you bring out the highlights of what's not quite seen. It's got one, two, three facets on it. Pretty interesting. Now let me go back down here. But you can do this if you have Photoshop. That's basically all I really wanted to say about that. I don't think I got enough time to do a lot of these pictures. Let me go back to here. I'll just pick another one random because all the ones I captured had something in. This one's really full of objects. This one is really full. Okay, now I'm going to go up here and show you these. I mean, there's objects. These here are the biggest ones, closest to the satellite, I would suspect. Either that, these are exactly what the people have been saying. Huge, giant ships. And here's two of them right next to each other, kind of like in uh, old docking, kind of like in Star Trek, when they come up to each other and they have a conversation. Here, I'm going to do the same thing to these. I'm going to bring up the brightness. You can see it. You can see it. Thing looks very much like a ship. I mean, it's kind of hard not to see that that's a ship of some type. And this one here also. Actually, bringing the contrast down, I guess, and bring the brightness up. And see how that makes it look. But that's those two there. I can move over. Well, I may have to drop my zoom back a hair. Because I'm having trouble finding that. There it is. That one right there. Now look at that one. Maybe these things are in close orbit to the sun because you can see the glow of it underneath. Okay, well, I'm going to get off here and let you check it out. I just, I'm getting too involved in uh, playing with this Photoshop, trying to get some enhancements on here. If I hit Auto Smarts Fix, it has a tendency to do that to an object, but it seems to brighten it up, show it up a little better. Kind of almost looks like engine ports. There you see. And back over to this one here. That's what they look like when you do the smart auto fix. But it's very unusual. So I'm going to get off here and let you people look at them. I'm done playing. I'll have a link to the uh, to these pictures for today at the bottom in the description. This is Spellbinder reports on Soho's and stereo ahead and behind satellites picking up very unusual objects today. Until next time, this is Spallbinder saying, be good, be good at it, and enjoy. Good day.